we need only consider the increasing materialism that prevailed as the modern era advanced. But if you ask what became most materialistic of all, you have to acknowledge that it was modern Christian theology. You see, a great part of modern Christian theology testifies to the greatest materialism. <laughs> it no longer sees the Christ living in the human being, Jesus of Nazareth, but refers to him as, quote, the simple man of Nazareth, close quote. Simple figure, kind of man the more is going to love you being, Jesus of any way you as can. Mortal, albeit one amongst the ranks of other renowned historical individuals. See that guy up there? That's Ahriman. The more this pleased a certain materialistic school Ariman's also Lion Man, which, which makes me Lion Man too. Very little to As above, so below. Nature of the Golgotha gap. I think it's something else. The Luciferic influx into human sensibility gradually faded in the human soul, making way increasingly for what we call the Aramonic impulse. What's that which mean? Which will grow ever stronger. in the near and also the further future. Machines. The harmonic impulse derives from beings other than Christ or Lucifer. What's that mean? Yet it is also a supersensible influx. What? And we could say a supersensible being, there is little distinction, whose mm. influence will become especially powerful He's the devil. ever more and more so in the fifth post Atlantic. That's just great to know. If we consider the turbulence of recent years, we will find that it has been caused in particular by Armonic powers. Armon? You son of a bitch? Like the incarnation of Lucifer at the beginning of the third millennium BC, and the Christ incarnation at the time of the mystery of Golgotha, there will be an oh, incarnation in the West of the being of Armon in the third millennium AD. Sometime after our current life on earth has ended. We only properly comprehend the course of history and human evolution over almost six millennia. Ah. If we see it in these terms, a Luciferic incarnation at one pole, the Christ incarnation in the middle of this period, and the incarnation of Araman at the other pole. I don't make Lucifer it. is the power in us which stirs up all quixotic and fervent powers, all false mysticism, all that seeks to elevate us arrogantly beyond our actual capacities. In a sense, it brings our blood into chaotic disorder in order to lift us out of ourselves. Araman, on the other hand, is the power that makes a person prosaic, hard-headed, philistine, that ossifies us and persuades us of the illusory truth of materialism. Basically, our human nature is the effort to maintain equilibrium between the Luciferic and the Aramonic power. Ooh. And in modern times, the Christ impulse aids us in creating this balance or equilibrium. These two poles are always present in us, the Luciferic and the Aramonic. But in historical terms, we find that the Luciferic impulse predominated in certain streams of cultural evolution in the Well, that's just great. So now you know. So Lucifer gets you lifted out of your body, gets your soul to wander off. Our man cometh. Crush you back down. Crush you. Mechanize you, man. That's Rudolf Steiner. He said we were going to be at this window at this time. And you know what? He's right. He was pretty smart. He was pretty good. These people have taken over. Clearly this machine has got my covert narcissism in a rut. Because I'm using these systems. But I like to pick the lion to identify with what is similar going forth for the lion of Christ and the lion of the Armon.
He's a lying man too. Lying about this. Lying about that. Yeah. But whatever. We shall see. In the days and years to come.